There's something in the wallet. Good morning, Stephen. Hi. Welcome to Sunday. Thanks. Nice glasses. Thanks. Couldn't find my other glasses, so I had to dig these out. Ow! They were covered in travel dust, so I had to wash them. <laughs> so anyway, what are we doing today? I'm cutting holes in the ceiling. Where? Um, well, anywhere there's a red cross is where the lights are going to go. Okay. So there's four of those. Uh, and then I need to cut holes above here, right in this area. Uh huh. So that I can get wires down to where the switch and outlet are going to be. Okay. Uh, same thing over where that crack is in the wall, about yes. halfway across. There's a crack in the wall. How very Doctor Who. Oh, you haven't caught up. That's right. So above that, there'll be a hole in the ceiling. Oh, you can't see from this angle. You have to like shift. Oh, okay. And then Anyways. I think you can see it. Focus! Well, nope, there it goes. That's no focus thing. <laughs> well, anyway, in that spot will be a, an access hole for an outlet. And then I gotta do another one up here. Mm -hmm. so you can get into here with a light switch wire and an outlet wire. Mm -hmm. And then I have to cut this one too for the other thing. I gotta look at what diameter that needs because we're not redoing this ceiling. So Correct. I make sure that that hole's perfect. Yep. Otherwise? Yeah, it should be seven holes, I think. Four for the lights, three for wire access. What about this guy? I guess eight. So. <laughs> okay. You ready, bud? You can't be in here while he's working. This is my room. Nope. Come on, let's go. Gotta be dusty, gotta be dirty. <laughs> so much stuff out here. Mostly because we've had to like move the bedroom out into this room. So like, there's piles of things and jets. And then we still have the office that's still functional. So someday, someday, this will be functional in a different way, in a better way, in a cleaner way. And someday, we're actually thinking about putting a bathroom right in here. A very tiny one. We'll be right here. side and then drill through the top of the wall so I can get my wires down in there. But it has also taught me that the distance, this is obviously a roof joist that holds the ceiling up. You can barely see it. Yeah, it's basically this board right here. There's another one 24 inches from that, which is right about here, which as you'll see with the red cross is perfectly in line with where the cans were going to go. <laughs> Uh, so they will have to move into this space over here so that they're not in, so they're in between the joists instead of on them. Mm -hmm. I don't know yet about the other side. I haven't done the measurements to see where they fall if they're going to hit another one as well. Knowing our luck, probably yes. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll have to move those as well. I can probably get a better idea if I open up my access panel. Oh yeah, that might work. And then stick my head up there and yeah, take a look. Yeah. Okay, but progress is being made. Yes. Ta -da! Holes are progress. Uh-huh. <laughs> Alright, so I have some good news. Okay. Uh, I don't need to cut as many holes in the ceiling. What? Uh, the wall on this edge. where our All the way over here? Yeah, where our bed's going to be. Okay. Uh, the way that it's built, it does not have a top plate. Okay. So the top of the wall is just open. Interesting. So that means that I can just fish wires directly into it without having to get up there with a drill and drill down through it. Lovely. That's a positive. Okay. Um, assuming... That means the wall on the other side would be the same way. Uh -huh. So we'll see. But either way, I have the hole here. I'm going to need one on the opposite side by the dormer, uh -huh. which we need, we need it anyway. Yeah, yeah. But without having the one there, I might be able to, if I can get your help, um, fish a like a stick off the wall that has a hook on it. And then I should be able to pass a wire over to you. And, if, and then I can pull it back if down. If the hook can meet the wire, then you can get that all down using the existing access hole from above where the former closet used to be. Huh. So. Okay. If you're available. You want me to go more. fishing with you? Yeah. Okay. We'll go fishing. Sad, Jenna, sad. Dad ditched me. 
for some project in the bedroom, and I'm not allowed in there! Cut! Cut! Don't give up on me now. There we go, pull! Come on! Pull. Are you done? Did you give up? Are you stuck on the knob and tube that's in this? Oh, the rubber wire? Well, yeah, whatever that is. It's moving now. Okay. Any sign of it out the uh... Not yet. Still not yet? No. Oh, that's not good. I'm out. Where did it go? I can't see it. I'll get the drill out of the ceiling. That might be a good idea. How has your day been? Complicated. Got them guns. You got you got tickets? Uh, my gun show requires a background check. <laughs> that was a terrible joke. That was awful. Yes, it was. Chet, Tom. Why is there no Romex? I can feel like five rubber wires. No Romex. You're really getting up and personal with this wall. I bought it dinner first. That's nice of you. I'm a gentleman. You didn't buy me dinner. Yeah, I did. Today. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess we did go grocery shopping. Uh -huh. I bought you dinner. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about, Willis? <laughs> You're a dirty boy. Put, your, put your hands up. You've been working. It's not quite coal miner black, but it's It's, it's dark. It goes all the way up the arms, too. You should have seen me earlier. I was completely in the ceiling, except for <laughs> my knees down were sticking out. <laughs> <laughs> Jet! <laughs> Come here. You are not supposed to be in there. Come on. Stay. How many times do I have to tell you? I know you want to hang out with your dad, but he is doing something that you should not be involved in. I literally have no idea where that room is. Uh oh. We're done with day one of pulling wires. I should say day two, because technically this was the first day, but that doesn't really count as a day. Yeah, that was, a, that was yeah. the easiest of the bunch so far. This one wire right here was probably the hardest. It really was. Look, where That's that hard. goes is from the closet. Oh, focus. There it goes. Ta-da. Yeah, the closet up here, all the way up. That was our solution. Our to, access hole. Solution to the problem. Uh, and then it goes all the way over and then down. Yep. So that one was real pain in the ass. Mm -hmm. A big hole over there. There's some holes in the ceiling. That's where the lights are going to go. Right. Which is exciting. Yes, I made square holes because the lights we bought are for old work, so they require a perfect circular hole in the drywall, but they don't accommodate the full thickness of both the drywall and the ceiling, because we're going to put another layer of drywall over this. So I made square holes so that the thickness that the actual clips will have to deal with is just the new drywall. Oh, well, that's good. So okay. That, that's sort of why I did the square holes. And then these wires here will all get stapled up, tied into the boxes on those fixtures once they're done. And then we ran those into that same mm -hmm. box area. So there are also, we're going to put in two zones. Come now, focus. Come now, you can do it. Come on. There's the closet zone, which is this section. Yep. And then there is this one, which is the BEP zone, if it'll focus. Come on. The BEP zone, which is right. actually the bed. Zone. I just have terrible handwriting. <laughs> it's really funny. It's actually some of the best handwriting you've had. So this is the bed. The bed will end up going here. 
and those are the lights that will go over the bed. Right. And from this angle, they don't really look like they're centered, but I know that they are, because we measured the crap out of that. So I think it's just the angle. It could be, yeah. Um, but yeah, and then there will be an end table there, an end table there, and a bed right there, and it will be grand. And then we're gonna put in a tiny itty bitty little light up there above the window. And that's not there yet because we have to measure that and then cut it. Yeah, but as far as like what lines you need to run yet, you said there was an up two up and overs that need two to go. Two up and overs because I gotta get this outlet connected to the outlet over here. Mm-hmm. And then there are lights I gotta feed power from the main lights This switch, it's not here. This light, it's that not light here. Will go up. On. And then yeah, the outlets are actually feeding each other. So we're gonna go from this one, where which we did the other day, mm -hmm. up and over, and then down into here, which feeds that. And then we'll go up and over and feed the other. And uh, it'll go all the way over here to this one. Yep. Okay. And then how are we feeding these two? Uh, off of the one that's this one? the light switch. It will go up, over, and down. Over and down. And then that one goes it, up, over, and down. Up, over, and down. Because we're trying to eliminate like as much wall repair as possible, which is why we're going up and then over and down. Right. It would be less wire if we cut holes in the walls, but... You would have to drill through every stud. I would. And you'd have to cut all of that plaster out, and then we'd risk damaging the actual plaster. Right. So that's why we're not doing that. The ceiling we had to replace anyway because of these cracks. These huge cracks, through. and they're all just terribly repaired. Right. So, so we're just gonna cover over the whole thing and call it a day, <laughs> and not bother because we don't. One, we don't want to haul all of it out of here because we have three flights that we will have to go. It's probably about a thousand pounds of plaster. Yeah, I'm not moving that all downstairs, are you? I would so prefer not to. We'll move the little pieces that we have to, and then we'll just cover the whole thing with drywall. We already have to bring drywall up. I don't want to bring plaster down and drywall up. Right. That's too much work. We are lazy contractors. <laughs> but it's coming out. I haven't done any plaster work because I'm going to have to do lots of plaster work in here eventually anyway. Um, so that has kind of been sitting waiting for the electrical. And then we'll have to buy drywall at some point and get the ceiling in here. And and our Ikea closet, we were talking about taking the trim out so we could put our closet up against the wall, like up against it, right. and then leave it there, because this is not leaving this house. We're not bringing that back down a set of stairs. A, I don't Maybe. think it'll fit out of the room. No. Not about dissembling it. B, right. it weighs like 600 pounds. Right. So yeah, we're not, I'm not interested it. in moving that. Nope. Not happening. So yeah, that's our day. How do you feel aside from a, a dirty scrub ball? Exhausted. Yeah, are you done? It looks like I did very little for the amount of work that really went into but it. But you did a lot. This it room looks like totally two different. It took like and a half hours to get that power inbound line up, over, and down.